सकल के आबो आमंत्रण क्रिमिनल जस्टिस प्रोग्राम देखार जो हमें सिलिस्टर साफिउल आजम प्रिन्सिपाल अफ आजाम एंड को सिलिस्टर्स एमारे आर कलिग बारिस्टर लीन टाउंडी हमें मडगेज फ्रडर जो जी आपनर कन्भिक्टेड है जो सेंटेंसिंग है वोटार ऊपर बोलो एक The course will use the published sentencing guidelines. The most important factor is the amount of money involved. The court has put the offence jinno ekta apna sentencing guideline achhe. Oi guideline jeta dawa achhe jajara kintu oi guideline ke exceed korte parbe na. Oi guideline follow kore sentence ta impose korte hobe sentence ta apna ra tarat dibe. एक एक दौरान दर ऑफेंसेज जन ड्रग्स ऑफेंसेज जन एक दौरान सेंटेंसेस हैं आपने सेक्सुअल ऑफेंसेज जन एक दौरान सेंटेंसेस हैं आपने मॉडगेज फ्रॉड जन एक दौरान सेंटेंसेस हैं सो डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सेंटेंसिंग गाइडलाइंस गुलो आते हैं इन मॉडगेज फ्रॉड इट इंक्लूड्स एक्चुअल लॉस एंड कन्सिडारेशन मध्य आसुअल लस बैंक बिल्डिंग सोसाइटर एवं रिस्क अफ लस तर रिस्क की लसे ओगुल कन्सिडार कर देर इज ए रिस्क अफ लस बाट नो एक्चुअल लस दैन दिस इज ट्रीटेड लेस सरियलि एंड दर्स आर एडभ टू मुव डाउन ए कैटेगरि इन सेंटेंसिंग जेखने होया देर इज ए रिस्क अफ लस जेखने रिस्क अफ लस शुद्ध रिस्क मानी फेस करते हुए क्योंकि एक्चुअल लस को ना बैंक बिल्डिंग सोसाइटर तक गाइडलैन मध्य आज है जहाँ जरा ये डाउनग्रेड करते हैं सेंटेंसिंग तरा मुव टू द डाउन कैटेगरि लोअर कैटेगर सेंटेंसिंग तरा फलो करते लोअर कैटेगर सेंटेंस दिवे कारण एक्चुअल लस है ना A prison sentence is probable for one of these type of offences. Only the least serious in terms of amount of money involved and your involvement will mean a prison sentence can be avoided. It is the cook to the chota kato offence hoy. Abong jekhane amount jeta ase sheta rong ko jodi onak chota hoy. Abong abnar involvement jeta ami ekto age bolchi mortgage broker ra professional ra surveyor ra. ए केस ए मॉडगेज फ्रॉड के मुद्दे पर है फॉर इन्फ्लेट करा जिन्ना डी वैल्यूएशन इन्फ्लेट को उठाए हुए चे सब चीते बेशी प्रॉब्लम जे आपना फॉल्स इनफॉरमेशन दवा फॉल्स पैस लिप दवा दिस आर डी मेन प्रॉब्लम आपना वैल्यूएशन के मनी बाड़ी ये देखा जोखन इधर उन्हें होय तो खन सीरियस जो दी जो दी मने करें एक जने रोल जो दी मिनिमम होए जेखने तार रोल अतो बेशी चिलो ना शेष दु अरेंज करें से जेखने एप्लिकेंट मोटगेजर जन्नो तार रोले ही मेजर रोल चिलो शेखने उइ भावे कोर्ट किंतु कंसीडर कर बे कार की रोल चिलो उठेर उपरे डिपेंड करे सेंटेंस दवा हो बे देर में भी ए लॉट ऑफ पीपल चार्ज्ड एट � and it is important that we ensure the court understand your role in this. They had on a low quota on a key for the charge of the party trial face court to the party. The action applicant, the mortgage, the applicant share with the party, surveyor with the party, mortgage broker with the party. I'm other kid that the hobby car role key chill or your fancy general cake or the two role play or it's a we take into court at us a to let out the hobby. And if you had a minor role and we are adapting to that, then we will make sure the court see your side of the story. The Abner Judi role Judi Kub minimum role hoy upon Abnake we problem and mood the drag kora hoy it's a the applicant jay chilo she sophisticated Abner fraudulent person upon she Abner mortgage broker ke drag kore it's a a mortgage at general we will not false information the then आम्रा शेठा कोटर का साम्रा तुले धर बो जे रोल कार की चिलो शेठा तुले धर तो हबे सो कोट अंडरस्टैंड्स जे अपना रोल ता चिलो मिनिमल। You may feel more naive than guilty 
but the law won't necessarily see it that way. Abni hoto mona korte pare na ami to kono kisu koi nai. Amar to kono dosh nai. Amar to kono aparad nai. The law kintu ite ubabe dekbe na. Ekjon mortgage broker hoto bolte pare je je amar ke shay jete diye chhe. Shayte ai tamhi forward kore si bank ke kase ba building society kase amar dosh ke ami kiko ami to shab role gul amar je play korar dorkar role gul to shab mot thik mot to play kore si. Shuda যদি আমাদের ক্লায়েন্ট যদি মর্টগেজ ব্রোকার হয় তাহলে আমাদেরকে সেটা কোর্টের কাছে তুলে ধরতে হবে যে তার রোল ছিল এটা লিমিটেড রোল মিনিমাল রোল এবং কোর্ট ওগুলো কনসিডার করবে সেন্টেন্সিংয়ের সময় ইট ইজ ইম্পর্টেন্ট টু গেট প্রফেশনাল অ্যাডভাইস এস সুন এস পসিবল এটা খুবই ইম্পর্টেন্ট যদি মর্টগেজ ফ্রডের জন্য চার্জ হয় এবং আপনাকে ট্রায়াল ফেস করতে হয় It is important that you get the specialist advice from a specialist criminal defense solicitor as soon as possible. You may feel more naive than guilty, but the court won't necessarily see it that way. We understand how worrying this is for you and we will do all we can to support you through this. এগুলো ফ্রড কেসের জন্য পড়লে খুব বোয়ারিং সিচুয়েশান হয় খুব স্ট্রেসফুল সিচুয়েশান হয় বাট আমরা আমাদের পক্ষে থেকে থেকে ডিফেন্স সলিস্টার হিসাবে যেটা করার দরকার উই উইল ট্রাই আওয়ার বেস্ট টু ডু এভরিথিং টু সাপোর্ট ইউ থ্রু আউট দ্য প্রসেস উই উইল লুক অ্যাট ইউর সাইড অফ দ্য স্টোরি আমরা পুলিশ বা প্রসিকিউটিং অথরিটি যারাই হোক না কেন তাদের স্টোরি দেখব না শুধু আমরা আপনার সাইডের কী স্টোরি আছে ওটা আমরা বোঝার চেষ্টা করব আমরা উই লিসেন টু ইউর সাইড অফ ইউর স্টোরি উই অ্যাপ্রিসিয়েট দ্যাট ইট ক্যান অ্যাপিয়ার দ্যাট নো ওয়ান ইজ লিসেনিং টু ইউর সাইড অফ দ্য স্টোরি এটা হয়তো হতে পারে আপনি মনে করেন যে আমার এই বিপদের মধ্যে আমি পড়ছি আমার এই সব সমস্যার মধ্যে আমি এখন ফেস করতেছি ট্রায়াল আমার সাইড কোনো কেউ শুনতেছে না বাট দ্য পিপল হু উইল বি ইউর লয়ার দ্য আপনার ক্রিমিনাল ডিফেন্স সলিসিটার স্পেশালিস্ট সলিসিটার আপনি যদি এনগেজ করেন they will listen to your side of the story we will be on your side we will receive you will receive good personal service at all times je jodi fraud er jonno charge kora hoy drugs offense er jonno charge kora hoy money laundering er jonno charge kora hoy you need the specialist solicitor je apnake personal service dibe je apnar telephone call ke answer korbe promptly among up you put, will put you at ease at all times throughout the proceedings ami pass korbo amar colleague barrister lin town lir kache to talk more on fraud please yes i'm just going to be able to do a very quick uh, overview cuz i'm uh, aware of the time a really quick overview about confiscation confiscation is it's it's a very broad and a complex topic so i'm really only going to be able to skim over um the um initial um aspects of confiscation procedures so confiscation orders can be imposed um on a defendant and we're now into talking about people who have been um convicted so um this is the final stage as it were um potentially in um all fraud proceedings um if certain conditions are met so um confiscation orders can be imposed um when um when basically there's a number of conditions under statute that are met so what what it means is that it puts on an individual an obligation um to pay a certain sum of money and there will be a term of imprisonment depending on the amount of money that would be serviceable in default of paying that money and that would be um irrespective of whatever other sentence um the person um was was imposed upon the person for the offence itself so this is actually separate to the offence um so what um needs to happen to a convicted person is that they must have been convicted of an offence in proceedings first of all before the crown court so confiscation can't happen in the lower court in the magistrates court um so either um dealt with in the crown court for the proceedings or committed from the magistrates court up to the crown court um in uh, respect 
um, of uh, the sentence um, at the end of the proceedings. And the court um, must believe that it's appropriate um, to proceed um, down the road of making a confiscation order and the prosecutor must ask for that as well. So there's mandatory requirements um, that the, um, the court um, then um, must follow. The whole idea behind confiscation is to strip defendants of proceeds of crime and the confiscation regime is very draconian and um, it um, can place um, quite um, draconian um, measures on both th that affect both defendants but also their family circle. So for example, um, the marital home may, may come um, into consideration potentially um, as being something that, that can be confiscated um, under this regime. So there's a number of stages that need, um, need to be gone through by the court. Um, again, I can only just skim over these in the time available. Um, but um, first of all, the court has to decide if someone has a criminal lifestyle. Um, and if they don't have a criminal lifestyle, the court can still decide that someone has benefited from a general type of criminal conduct. Um, the court can postpone the actual ordering of the confiscation for up to two years, sometimes exceptionally um, longer. But it can still, in the meantime, proceed to sentence the defendant for the offence. And confiscation can happen even if the defendant gets a, a minimal um, or non-custodial sentence or um, receives a conditional or absolute um, discharge um, for the offence. Um, the, in, in considering whether there has been um, a benefit um, from the criminality, um, the court um, has to deem that there's been, first of all, either a, a general criminal lifestyle or a benefit um, from the particular um, criminal conduct. So what the criminal lifestyle means is that there are certain offences that allow the court to potentially deem a criminal lifestyle. So for example, if someone has been convicted of offences including money laundering or people or arms trafficking, then a criminal lifestyle can be deemed by the court to necessarily follow from this conviction. Um, and then the offence uh, itself, um, which has been convicted, constitutes part of a course of criminal activity um, or the offence has been committed over a period of at least um, six months and the defendant has benefited from the conduct which constitutes um, the offence. So the, the, um, the benefit from the particular criminal conduct has to be at least um, £5,000. Um, if there's fine to be a criminal lifestyle or a benefit from general criminal conduct, um, what this allows the court to do is make four separate assumptions. And this is as far as I'm, I'm going to get today, but the assumptions are, are extremely um, uh, draconian. So the first assumption is that any property that's transferred to a defendant um, at any time um, after the relevant day, which is six years preceding the commencement of the current proceedings for the offence with which the um, defendant has been convicted. So they can look back, the court can look back um, six years um, from that day and the assumption um, will be that whatever assets um, during that period are held by the defendant have been obtained as a result of criminal conduct. So in other words, um, those assets are also potentially open to form part of the, the confiscation order and be confiscated. Um, the second assumption is any property held um, by the defendant after um, the date of conviction has also been obtained through criminal conduct. And um, the third um, assumption um, relates to any expenditure that the defendant has made um, so again, that, that falls potentially um, to be considered as well um, to be expenditure that's met from property obtained um, through criminal conduct. So in other words, if someone goes on a, on a spending um, spree um, after um, the, um, the date of conviction, 
potentially um, this money can seek to be clawed back by way of a confiscation order so it can't be defeated by a defendant who then goes out and dissipates um, assets. And um, then finally the fourth assumption is um, for the purpose of valuing any property obtained. Um, it will be deemed to be free of any other um, interests of other parties in, in that property. So um, the general criminal conduct refers to all criminal conduct of the, the defendant and it's immaterial whether or not the, um, the general criminal conduct um, occurred before or after the implementation um, of um, the, uh, the POCA um, statute. So essentially you can see from um, these four assumptions that any attempts to defeat um, a confiscation order, for example, by um, spending or trying to um, get rid of assets or make gifts or so on to third parties or put things in third parties' names um, are not going to defeat um, the statutory assumptions and the order can still be made relating to assets that have, have since been disposed of by the defendant and then they will have to account and make payment for those within the terms of the confiscation order. Failing to do that, then there, there are various um, terms of imprisonment that can, be, that can be imposed in default of payment, depending on what the value of the confiscation order was. Thank you, Lynn. Doshok, Amnara Shunchen, Barrister Lynn Town Lirkatse, Shedirgo, about Pry Pusish Bosser, experienced barrister, criminal lawyer specialist. Uni London University, Jara Baristeri Porashuna Kore, Tadirke Criminal Law Porashuna Koran, Tachara Uni Abna Bigoto Jibone, Crown Prosecution Service, CPS, Senior Crown Prosecutor, Abong Advocacy Manager Ishabe, Kachkore Chilen, Uni UK Women Barrister Association Chairperson, Barrister Lynn Townley, Uni Jeta Bulchilen, Criminal Lifestyle, Jude Apply Kore, it can go back up to six years. As Amade Shamoi, Pry Shashwegatse, আজকের প্রোগ্রামটি আবার পুনঃপ্রচার করা হবে নেক্সট সানডে দুপুর 12:30 থেকে দুটু তাছাড়া আজাম এন্ড কো সলিসিটরসের ফেসবুক এবং ইউটিউব চ্যানেলেও প্রোগ্রামটি আপলোড করা হবে সবাই ভালো থাকুন সুস্থ থাকুন এবং সকলের প্রতি আমার শুভকামনা থাকলো আসসালামু আলাইকুম